What I like to believe is that we take away something from every experience in life. When I was in the hospital, I had befriended a couple individuals that had a similar injury as mine. And um, they had good prognosis because they were able to move their feet and their toes. And one of them was actually walking on parallel bars. And we were both almost very similar as far as the type of injury and time frame of injury. And it wasn't until I had found out and received the phone calls from uh, their wives that both of them had committed suicide. It was an experience that no doubt had put me in a point where I needed to make a decision. Sink or swim, Oz. Sink or swim. So I have reached my point where I decided to get back to life and live again. Many of us know someone who is in a wheelchair. Or maybe we think we know them. But do we really? When you got a situation where you got a film that you're a part of or a project that you're a part of, you take a vested interest to learn your audience. This whole project was actually just sort of something that evolved. I and mean, I was fortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time. And I ended up being one of the uh, cast members, if you will. I was just blown away. Absolutely such a testimony to the human spirit. So moving for me on so many different levels. I it was mean, inspiring. Absolutely inspiring. Could we ever hope to understand the courage and determination he or she would need to face even a day without legs. I had found athleticism and I find myself, you know, having a new thirst for life, a new energy because I was able to succeed and become sort of a local champ relatively quickly because I, once I got on the bike, I trained on it every day. And when I speak to these, these experiences and achieving, you know, gold in Beijing or something like that, everybody can accomplish these things because everybody can have their own sort of gold medal experience. It doesn't have to be an athletic endeavor. Community involvement, a church leader, a good parent, a good mentor, a role model, a soccer mom, you name it. I believe we all have a gold medal within us. It seems it would be easy to feel beaten, but there are those who refuse to give in to their disability. My motto was uh, no, no limits, life without limits. And it wasn't until I had a significant accident, an emotional event of losing a lot of things that we take for granted in life, that I really started believing that we can do things above and beyond our perceived limits. It was just amazing and, and uh, very inspirational for me. It was, it was incredible. One of the parts of the movie was Alejandro's breakdown. Alejandro's a very, very close dear friend of mine. I dealt with a lot of different issues emotionally as a result of uh, what his goals and, and what he suffered through. And in the end, he, he congratulated me. Um, and, I, and I still, to this day, sort of deal with mixed emotions about it. But it was a passing the torch, no doubt. And uh, in the end, we, we both became better people as a result of it. Who refused to bow before adversity and to go on to turn their limitations into boundless opportunities. What I say is, is challenge each other, challenge oneself. So you gotta have goals. Without goals, you have no direction really, and you have no way of measuring how close you are to achieving that end result, the objective. Every now and then, I'll still pinch myself over the gold medal. And to be honest with you, my biggest accomplishment is still my degree. My college degree is still my biggest personal accomplishment that I've done because they are the unbeaten. Don't ever complain about your circumstances. Be grateful for the things that you do have and appreciate everything that life gives you because it's an opportunity to have some of the things you have. Someone else out there always has it worse. And if I can help anybody in this arena to avoid the pitfalls that I went through and avoid the depressions that I went through, one individual, then that's time well spent.